Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, you know, you guessed it, whatever it says on the title right here. It's great for you to be here on this video today to help you first timer ravers or music festival goers to know what to bring to your first music festival or to music festivals in general. So it's really important to bring some essential things to a music festival because without some of these things, you may not survive a music festival. But that may be a lie because the best time is always with your friends. So even if you forget some things, at least you have your friends with you and some good vibes. So let's get to my video. Okay, so the very first thing that I would bring to a music festival is definitely my wallet. I make sure that I have my IDs with me, so like a government ID and also money just in case. Since here we're in Canada or in Vancouver, BC, I bring two pieces of ID because they always ask for two pieces. And I know in America, they ask for one. So shocking. I wish we could get away with that. And just really make sure that you bring a debit card or a credit card as well because some events may be cashless, which means you cannot use cash at all, okay? Cashless, guys, okay? The second most important thing is definitely your wristbands or your tickets. Don't forget to bring your wristbands to the music festival because you may not get into the festival without it or even your ticket. I know this year for Faded, I'm pretty upset that we're not getting wristbands for GA. But again, that's probably for a business move because it seems like not a lot of people are going to Faded this year. But that's okay. Again, don't forget to bring your ticket, your mobile phone. Your phone will have the email to the ticket, so bring that as well. And again, just really don't forget that. Those are like the two main essential things to bring to a festival, your ID credit card, debit card, and your wristbands because that's the way for you to get in the menu, okay? Third, phone charger. This is a really old phone charger. I actually use this other phone charger that I will link down below. It's from Amazon. But yeah, it's a great portable phone charger that I use and bring to a music festival so that I can recharge up my iPhone if I need of recharging during the festival so that I could hopefully take some more photos and videos if my phone were to die. So the next big thing that's really important to bring is definitely my earplugs. I always tell everyone to bring your earplugs, especially when going to events because you are right by the speakers or the sound systems are just so loud. So this is my earplugs. Sorry, it's not focusing. Right here. These earplugs are from Amazon. I honestly should start looking for really good earplugs, but honestly, this earplug is really, really great. I'm not going to be complaining about this earplug. It's really great. It has helped my ears throughout every event and festival that I've gone to. And I'll link that below as well. And this is called the, the Mumba, Mumba Mumba. So that's what it is. Protect those ears and prevent yourselves from getting tinnitus, guys, ringing in your ears after music festivals or events, okay? Okay, so the next important thing that I would bring to a music festival is definitely a, a hydration bag. I don't have the best hydration bag. I am your typical Amazon buyer, so I got the Sojourner bag. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I think this is a really great first time music festival goer bag. This was really great EDC, no complaints, nothing was leaking. But I also heard that the lunchbox bag is a great bag. I heard really great things about it. But again, this bag is great. And it comes with the hydration pack inside as well, which is really great for music festivals. If you want more information about this bag, I'll create a video for this so that this video won't be too long. I forgot to mention this, but it's really important for you to make sure to read the rules when it comes to bags, what kind of bags you can bring into a festival. Like for example at faded in the park you're not allowed to bring a big bag you can only bring like a small bag maybe like a fanny pack and also you can only bring a small mini clear bag so again make sure to read the music festival rules in terms of what kind of bags you can bring in um, it's really really important to bring sunglasses guys you want to protect those eyes from the bright lights throughout the show and you also want to protect your eyes from the sun because again a lot of music festivals are outdoors and you really want to make sure that your eyes stay protected so always bring your sunglasses and on top of that i also bring other glasses with me just for like style and such like for example edc i brought this glasses with me to match my outfit and then also i brought some refractory glasses these are heart ones so when you look at it you see hearts so next thing to bring to a music festival is gum. Helps your breath stay fresh 
and also helps you with your chewing if you're a chewer at a music festival. Next thing that I would recommend bringing to a music festival is chapstick. Chapstick, any chapstick, guys. Your lips do get dried because you're dehydrated, and again, it's super hot out during the festivals and such, and you're probably drinking alcohol too, so there's a lot of different factors that can lead for your lips to get dry, so bring your chapsticks so that your lips aren't dry throughout the festival. Also, another item that I bring to a music festival with me is an inhaler. What I use it for is to help like clear my nose throughout the music festival. And no, it's not drugs, guys. Some people look at me when I do this at festivals and they're like, what the heck are they snorting? But no, this is just Vicks. I actually got this from Thailand. Thailand has a whole bunch, but I believe you can maybe get some Vicks on Amazon. I'm not too sure, because again, a lot of my Vicks are from Thailand, so... Yeah, but these are really great to keep my nose nice and fresh and to clear up all the dust that goes into my nose. So. All right, so the next thing that I bring to a festival is definitely a hand sani. This is from my swag bag from EDC. I think a really small mini size, travel size hand sanitizer is great at a music festival because just in case the porta potties don't have any soap or sani and you come out and you're just like, I just want to clean my hand. Well, again, Mini Sani, great, um, great to carry on the music festival. And again, you can also have this for before eating food as well, right? You wanna make sure you keep those germs away and prevent you from getting COVID. So the next thing that I would bring to a music festival is tissue and any wipes as well. It'd be really great to have tissues or wipes around so that you can just clean yourself off if there's any messes during the festival. And the next thing that I would bring to a music festival with me is definitely face masks. It's so important to bring face masks so that perhaps if you were in a venue that was very dusty, you can protect your nose and mouth. Also because it's COVID times now, it's great for protection as well to protect you from getting COVID. But again, masks has been around since even before COVID. So for you ravers or new ravers or music festival goers this year, it is really important to bring a mask because again, protect your nose and mouth. So another thing that I bring is candy. Um, not every music festival have people or ravers that bring candy. So candy is not what I'm talking about. Like if you're thinking that's candy that you eat, no, not that candy. I'm talking about trading candy. So candy like this. So these are one of my favorite candies. Let me just show you guys. This is my good vibration candy. And then one of the one of the candies I received from a music festival from a raver back then. But I like to bring my candy around so that I can trade a whole bunch of candy to other ravers or first time music festival goers or people that are wanting to learn candy trading. I always bring them so just so that people can have the full on experience and understand what candy trading is at music festivals. So that's what I do. I do have a whole bag. So if you ever want me to show what my candy collection is, let me know. I will definitely do that for you guys as well. All right, so the next thing that I bring to a music festival with me is definitely a pashmina. So this is my pashmina. I got this at EDC. This can help you keep warm. It can also be part of your outfit. Pashmina is something you want to have because again, some music festivals, you can get cold and weather changes. Like at EDC, it got so windy during day one. I wish I bought a pashmina right away. So yeah. Pejmina, really great essential wear for rave wear. Okay, so another big thing that I would bring to music festival is a hair tie. It's so important to bring a hair tie because depending on what kind of a raver or music festival person you are, I would bring a hair tie just because my hair could get messy and be in my way. And if by the end of the night, I just want to tie my hair, why not, right? So the next thing that I would bring to a music festival is definitely a disposable camera. I love bringing disposable cameras to music festivals because I love taking photos. Disposable camera is really nice because you get to print out these photos. And for me, I am a photo collector. I like to make scrapbooks giving up um, photos to people so that they can remember all the great memories they've made during the music festival. So that's why I bring a disposable camera. But if you Another thing that I bring to a music festival, which is so essential here in Vancouver, BC, or even in Calgary, um, is a frame poncho. Okay, frame ponchos, guys, is definitely a really big thing, especially here in Vancouver. If you go to a music festival, you never know how the weather's gonna be like. One day it could be sunny and then Next thing you know, it starts raining here because, you know, Vancouver. 
Sorry to you tourists that aren't really used to the rain here. But again, really important to bring your rain poncho because you just never know when it's gonna rain here. Another thing that I bring to a music festival are band-aids. You never know when you'll get injured, so I just bring a portable, like easy to carry band-aids with me. And I know some people um, break in shoes for the first time, so they ask for band-aids just so that they can put band-aids on the place where they get blisters, so why not, right? And now we're going to medications. Yes, I feel like a grandma with bringing a bunch of medications, but what I do is I usually bring some Tums. I tend to get acid reflux sometimes depending whether I'm drinking or I don't know. Something just activates my acid reflux, so maybe some spicy food, who knows. But I usually bring Tums just in case. And another thing, Tylenol or any, any ibuprofen because if I start getting headaches, due to the music being very loud or if it's just super sunny. Sometimes all of those factors just cause a major headache for me. So I always just bring pain medications to help me feel better. And because I'm a person that has allergies, I also bring my EpiPen just in case. So for you people that have allergies or some really strong anaphylactic reaction, please bring your EpiPen because you don't want to die during the music festival. JK, but there are a lot of paramedics and such during the music festivals that you attend to, so that's that's great. And another thing that I bring is gravel. Gravel sometimes I bring because I do kind of get nauseous a little bit, probably from drinking too much or whatever, so I bring gravel as well. Okay, so also at a music festival, I like to bring a fan. I don't have those handheld fans, but some people do. One thing that my boyfriend brought to EDC this year was this fan, it's hilarious. What you do is you connect it, it's this fan right here. And what you do to get it to work is to connect it to your phone. And voila, look at that. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> so we were doing this throughout EDC and we're just like patting ourselves and looking at our phone as well. That's, that's so funny. But yeah, don't forget to bring a fan to keep you nice and cool because it does get super hot during music festivals as well. And I think that's pretty much it. That's all the items I bring to a music festival. What do you guys bring to a music festival when you guys go? But yeah, I hope you guys learned something and hopefully you guys are able to bring some of your own personal items that can make you enjoy the music festival better. And don't forget to like this video, comment down below what music festivals you're going to, if I'm going to be seeing you at Faded in the Park, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace.